Good morning, everyone. This is me and Bonnie, and we are here to um, sell some bunnies and visit with you because we have missed you. It has been such a long time since I have had time to do a video. Um, I love the holidays, but sometimes I don't love the holidays. <laughs> there is just so much stuff and so much stress and so much money being spent that I don't have. And, you know, it's just, um, I wish we could kind of backpedal and do things like a lovely cookie exchange with the family or something because gifts are getting out of control and the prices are out of control. And well, anyway, I didn't come here to say all that stuff. Um, Bunny wanted you to see you. Hi, I'm Bunny and I wanted to see you. Yes, Bunny, I just said that. Okay, and um, I wanted to sh show you that I got my ear pierced. Do you see that? Do you see that pretty? And when you get in the light, it sparkles because there is a beautiful stone inside the earring. Yeah, that's really nice. It's been so cold here that Bunny had to put on a sweater. And this is a lovely boho bead that we he got from his friend Angel in Vienna. Thanks, Angel. I love my boho bead. So anyway, um, Bunny was just getting set up for a little spot of tea with all of his new friends. And um, then we were going to go ahead and go through what um, what new, new bunnies that we have. Yeah, we're going to show you new bunnies. Okay, Bunny, thank you. Why don't you go over there and sit down with your tea and we'll just uh, talk with you in a bit. Okay, I'm going to go over here and sit down with my tea. Okay, Bunny, that's, that's, whoops, that's wonderful. Be careful there, you, oops, you almost tipped over. Here, we can't see you. Let me put you somewhere where we can see you. Oh, my goodness. There isn't a very large picture screen here, so I'm going to move you right. There you are. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, Bunny. And here's your cup of tea. And you just enjoy that. And we are going to talk about the other bunnies. But we will definitely come back to you. Okay, let me see here. I have been busy making Christmas gifts and um, my granddaughter's birthday and my son's birthday is coming up and I've just been so busy. Um, but anyway, this is bunny number 57, five, seven, and as you can see, bunny has, is holding on to a lovely, um, handmade heart and got a big, pretty button on, um, his scarf. And then over here, he's got a little key and some pretty, um, beads on the safety pin. And his little, um, whatever you call this, headband or whatever, is um, s removable. It's just stitched in the back, and you can slip it on and off. Okay, so that's that bunny. And this is that bunny's book. Um, basically, it's got some lavender tones to it. I find a lot of people seem to like lavender. Um, there's a little picture on the front of a little girl talking to some bunnies. I think that's so cute, and I like the way they're listening to her. The, there is fabric on the book, um, and then up here there is some sari silk and some cotton and, uh, yeah, just various trims at the top. And then you open it up, and inside there is a piece of cotton and these are quilt pieces, and <laughs> there wasn't enough pieces of anything to make anything, so I just took the little bits of fabric that I had that still had some color to them, and I just stitched them all together. And this is a, um, back here, this is a an old book paper page, whatever. And here we have one card that says, I am your forever friend. Here's a, a 
fold pin with some rusted bells on it. And this is, um, it says, and they imagined that all things fell out happily. That's something from a book. It's a and it says, I will always be by your side. Um, it's amazing to me how many times I pick up a book page, like out of one of the books that I've torn up and there will be just a little phrase or sentence that goes so well with something that I'm working on. So I just cut that out and stick it on here. Here's a bunny inside a rose and they've made the rose look like a teacup. And inside here is a little booklet and there's a picture of bunny. And then this has a cup of tea and um, here is a little belly band and inside here is a ticket it says find yourself a cup the teapot is behind you now tell me about hundreds of things and that goes in here and on the back we have just a little bunny cut out I got those from um, and this no not that one but uh, the other one that I showed you on this first thing this I got those from Kathy Davis I think those are so cute and she sent me a whole bunch of different ones um you know some are sitting some are jumping some are stretched out some are standing and they're just so cute um okay this is like a little uh it's got a it's a piece of cotton and then I took some fabric and sewed a heart on it and down here it says sweet lavender and inside this little pouch is um that safety pin to the thing and it's got lavender in it so it smells really good and you pull this up it's like a little curtain and inside here is a little belly band and there's a lot of just uh collaging i guess um here's some fabric with some stitching on it book pages paper just a lot of stuff and then this is a little tiny booklet or paper you open it up all the way and it says when she became a butterfly the caterpillar spoke not of her beauty but of her strangeness they wanted her to change back into what she had always been but she had wings and it says, be nor overbold, but fly while still you may. And this says, the froth's lips of the sea. So, um, you know, again, I just saw that in a book and I was like, well, that's pretty cool. And I put a little girl on there with wings. So, and the back is for journaling purposes. Woohoo. Um, so I didn't forget about the people that like to do the journaling. And, <laughs> if I can get this folded up right, there we go. Alright, so this goes back in this pocket. And the curtain goes back down to hide it so you can put secret stuff in there. This picture came from, it was a postcard. It came from my friend Angel in Vienna. It's so cute. And I got some seam binding up here. And then there's just purple flowers around the bunny. And inside, you pull that out. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Don't worry about the tea bunny. I'll, I'll clean that up. That wasn't your fault. Um, Adventures with Bunny. And then it says, just a minute, I can explain everything. And there's a little cutout of a bunny. Um, and just a teeny tiny punch I have. And here's a picture of Bunny that also came from Kathy Davis. And this says, from a moment I saw you, I knew an adventure was about to happen. And there's a stamp. I got the, the a whole bunch of old stamps from Angel in Vienna. And then this says, delight. And this has a, I don't know, fancy thing. It's a stamp. And uh, a, just a few little stamps on the bottom. So I have, you know, pages for you to... And there's Bunny's butt. I got that from Jan Del Bone. I love that. And these are um, to list your adventures that you have with Bunny. 
as you two get to know each other better and have more and more fun. Okay, whoops, I didn't put that in right. Okay, and this is a couple of little girls skipping in the grass holding hands with a bunny. And here is a mama bunny and a bunch of her babies. And it says, you are all written on my heart. And then this is one of those milk caps that I got from uh, Tim Holtz. And inside here, there is a Beatrix Potter Peter Rabbit postcard. And it says, I do so promise. Um, I promise not to eat all the good stuff out of the trail mix and hide the raisins in the couch. I promise not to use your toothbrush to scratch my back. And it says, I do so solemnly swear. And this is signed by Bunny so you know it's true and that those things won't happen because he never goes back on his word, do you, Bunny? No, I never go back on my word. Okay, Bunny, thank you. Um, here we have a little, this also came from Kathy Davis. She sent me a whole bunch of cutouts. They're just darling. And, um, this is just some, um, I, I don't, it's a paper sack. And what I did was I took a tea bag and put it over the top because the colors were real bright and I wanted it to be more muted. And this is a little rusted paper clip with some seam binding on it and here's a little bunny and let's see what this is oh to become a real bunny you must prove yourself brave truthful and unselfish and once you become real you can't become unreal again it lasts for always that's from pinocchio and the velveteen rabbit and then this little bunny says be kind to me i thought that was cute Okay, so we're going to put this back on here and stick that back in this little sack. Let's see here. I put that on there so it won't go way down in the sack where you can't reach it. And here is a couple of bunnies on, um, it was a napkin decoupage. And this is just a page out of our phone book. <laughs> and then I put a tea bag over the top of it and distressed it and uh, you know you can't even tell that it's just a page out of a phone book and here is a little pocket that I made out of you know paper that comes from a pattern and from sewing and here's a little picture of a mama or a grandma rocking some baby bunnies and in here's a little tag and it just says friends on it and then behind this, you put this down. It's like a little pocket. And there is a little sack in here that's got some stuff in it. Um, it's like a little bag. I'm not going to open it and all that stuff because there's got to be some surprises for whoever decides to buy this. If anyone decides to buy this. And then the last page is a little pocket um, with... A heart that I cut out and this is a little envelope and it's got the certificate of authenticity inside and here is a little envelope and I'm also not going to reveal what that says um, it's a surprise for whoever gets the book and there's the back and it's just tied with this ribbon so that is bunny number 57 this is bunny number 58 and he's got on this is an old um nut that's rusted and there's a key and a leaf and here is a little um handmade heart on some seam binding and here is a heart hanging off of a safety pin he also has a little headband that slips on or off and he is wearing a lovely handkerchief um, wrap with, um, you know, it's been it's been painted on. I think. I mean, you can feel the the raised areas, so I think that's hand painted. And on the back it says, "Bunny number fifty eight, 
all of these clothes and accessories can be removed. So, um, this is a very, what do I want to say, neutral type book. Um, this is something, I can't remember who gave this to me. Somebody did. It may have been Lori Fusco. I don't know. I can't remember. But you know how women used to, you know, tie their, put their sweaters over their shoulders and then clip this on each side to hold it from sliding off. Um, or, you know, they also put things like this on their glasses, but I don't think this one's long enough for that. So anyway, I thought it was a cute way to close the book. And this just has some really cool trim and fabric on it. And there are some uh, coffee dyed rose trim and a little tiny rusty safety pin. And underneath this is um, paper that actually looks like lace. So I hope I'm not too close on these. And so here we have, this is a lavender pouch with lavender in it and a little teeny tiny piece of lavender fabric. This is a little, um, says soar and it's a bunny with wings on it and just some um, roses on the back. These came out of a magazine and then I put a piece of a tea bag over the top to make it look older. And this is a little bunny sticker. I got that from my friend Angel um, in Vienna. And that goes in here. And then we have um, this bunny. Lot, there's always a lot of layers and fabrics and paper and uh, rusted elements, um, pin safety pins and little trinkets and stuff. And this says, I do so promise by Bunny. And it says, I promise not to lick all the sprinkles off the donuts, then put them back in the box. I promise to keep my belly button clean. And I promise not to poop on the floor unless it's an emergency. And that is signed by Bunny himself. So, you know, once again, you know that it's the truth. So, and then we have, oh, I think this is cute. This little girl, um, <laughs> she looks like she's mad at the world. And I gave her some wings and a little hat. And in here is an envelope. It's got a little something in there. I don't remember what it says. I'm not going to take it out right now. This is a surprise for whoever buys it. And down here it says flutter. That's just a word out of a book. And this is um, some pattern paper. And then there's a napkin decoupage on top of it of like a mom bunny and a little baby bunny hugging. And this is, um, you know, I like to sit in the evenings and I'm going to take a drink of my coffee <laughs> because I think it's like we're having coffee together. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, that was delightful. Okay, you can take a drink of your coffee too. Or tea or beer or wine or whatever. Um, okay, I like getting bits of fabric and in the evening when I'm watching TV, I just so little things like either a heart or something and the other day I sat down and I sewed these little flowers and I thought they were kind of cute so I put them in here and used it as a little curtain and this is um the little pocket and that has a certificate of authenticity in it for the bunny and um yeah I just thought that was cute and here's a little girl that's playing with her or holding her pet bunny. And it, this music piece says, Stars keep their vigils in heaven for you. And I thought that was cute. This also is... Sorry, I bumped the camera. Hope you don't get seasick. Um, especially if you're drinking wine. <laughs> that was the camera and you are not actually losing it. Um, okay, Adventures with Bunny, um, 
and says record. Whoops, I missed a page. From the moment I saw you, I knew an adventure was about to happen. And then it says record adventures here. And then you have some free space for recording your adventures. And it says a good friend knows all your stories. A best friend helped you write them. And this is um, blank for you to fill in activities that you do with Bunny. And then this page is a little girl napkin decoupage. There's some um, collaging at the bottom. And there's a little teeny tag that says hope. And this is a page that has... There's, isn't that cute? That's one of those bunny punch outs I, I get. I love those. And uh, this is the thing about becoming a real bunny from Pinocchio and from the Velveteen Rabbit. I put those in all my bunny things, bunny books. And there's a little girl stamp eating her porridge. And then on the back, there's a little tiny bunny. And that goes in here. And then in here we have a little um, Beatrix Potter thing. And it says, I will, I'm your forever friend. I will always be by your side. And there's Bunny with holding on to his little heart-shaped balloon. That is so darn cute. And then uh, we got this little picture of a bunny. He looks like a little viking bunny he has a helmet and a an axe and um this came from my friend angel they're like little bunny they're wooden they're like little silhouettes and uh, i covered it with um book paper and down here it says nothing would stop him and then this little piece of paper that tucks in behind that bunny head says be brave. Oh, that is good words to live by, I'll tell you what. And that just slips in here. And then in here, there is a little teeny tiny package with little um, pin and some lace around, you know, wrapping it up. And I'm not going to open that right now. That's for whoever gets the book. And... Um, down here that says believe and I also um, you know stitched that while I was watching TV and here's just a little thing that I thought was pretty it was a little piece of trim on something and I just hung it on there with a pin and there's the back of the book whoops I'm sorry <laughs> I'm clear over here like talking to you and not not paying any attention to the fact that you're actually trying to see what I'm doing. Ahem, sorry. I actually am having coffee and not wine, so that should never have happened. Okay, then. And our last bunny is bunny number 59. Bunny 59. But this bunny has already sold. I put them on my website yesterday, I guess, or... I don't know. Anyway, he already sold. And he has lovely flower, um, ring of flowers around his head. Here is an old key, um, handmade heart, uh, wooden bead, I guess, and some various um, fabrics that adorn his neck. Okay, and this is his book. Um got tied with seam binding and this one has a picture of a little girl talking to a bunny she's holding his hand or his paw whatever it's really cute and this has you know it's covered with fabric and then on the back there's a little bit of a collage of fabric and a, a big rusted pin and some seam binding and trim around the top and then inside, this is a button hanging on the pin that came from my grandma's button box. Um, yeah, my grandma liked 
pretty things and fancy things and she did a lot of sewing and she had a lot of buttons that had you know diamond looking rhinestones or whatever I really don't think that's a real diamond if you find out that it is I would appreciate it if you give it back to me I'll exchange it for one that's not real okay and look isn't this cute there's a little bunny from my friend Kathy Davis I really do appreciate these Kathy I use them all the time if you're watching and there's some book pages and some um fabric uh angel sent me a bunch of old um german newspapers and like papers pages out of some kind of like um oh a book that like one of those books where you're trying to teach somebody something you know like not just a a reading book but an instruction type book and the pages are oh, they are awesome they're so cool and they're already so brown and everything but they are so brittle and the only thing you know that I can do with them is sew them and then you know like um put Mod Podge no I didn't say sew them I don't know why I said that I didn't mean that I meant all I can do is put them on something and then Mod Podge them because the minute you touch them they start to um crinkle and and tear but they're very cool so and here's a picture of Bunny and his little balloon. And, um, yeah, he will always be by your side and be your forever friend. And this little girl, she was in the other book. Um, and it says, In Her Heart Did Mercy Come. I got that out of a book. And then in here, um, it says, The Moon Like a White Rose Shone. And this is just a little booklet. There's a tiny little bunny in a frame. And this is the thing about becoming real from the Velveteen Rabbit and Pinocchio. And that goes in that little tuck space. And here is a picture of a rose. And the quote says, And bid the stars drop down from the sky, and the moon like a pale rose wither away. Um, I got a book of... Uh, poems I think by well I got one by Lord Byron I got one by Shakespeare and I got one by Longfellow I'm not exactly sure who these come from but you know I just I don't know <laughs> you know I love words and I love the feelings they evoke and so it's like when I put something in here I just have to do something like that to give it some meaning I guess I don't know I'm crazy so, and here is uh, some fabric and but an old button, and here is some corrugated cardboard. This is a happy pair. It's two bunnies under an umbrella, and there is some um, fabrics down here at the bottom. And here is two bunnies, um, nose to nose, and he's got a carrot. It looks like. It's like he's going to bring her a carrot, like maybe they have a date or something. Oh, and this is an, a tag that I had, and then I folded it in half and made it into a little booklet. And it says, I do so promise. And Bunny says, I promise not to use your toothbrush to scratch my back. I promise not to eat all the good stuff out of the trail mix and hide the raisins in the couch. And... I promise not to pee on the floor unless it's an emergency. Signed by Bunny. So that goes in here. Yep. And then we have these two little girls holding their bunnies. I thought that was really cute. And this is a little, um, it's like a train train station destination um itinerary thing it's like a tag and I put this tag on it to you know so you could like close it and keep it closed and then you open it and it says list adventures here and this is um adventures with bunny and then it's got the train and um this is some paper I got from 
angels and in Vienna. And uh, yeah, you're supposed to list the adventures you have with Bunny on this paper. So that you won't ever forget them. Because especially if, if any of you have children, you know how easy it is to watch them do something so cute. And then you forget about it. And that's sad. <laughs> that's why you should always write that stuff down. And this is a piece of paper. It has nothing. I mean, it says her eyes closed and she slept invaded by a familiar dream and like this is just um paper that you can uh journal on and then the back side is paper that someone used to figure sums and stuff and um I, I thought that was really cool I got that from Angel and this is a little um tuck spot so we got the pocket in the back and then a little heart and some trim and stuff, and these little tiny um, tickets, and this one says, be happy, and there's like a little friend stamp, and this one says, be authentic, and there's a little girl eating her porridge, and here's a bunny, and it's got some purple flowers added to it. And some seam binding. I don't know what that says. It's in German. And I'm hoping that it doesn't say anything untoward. <laughs> Although I'm sure it doesn't. But anyway. And here is a little. Um, some napkin decoupage. Of two little bunnies together. This is the envelope. With the. Um, certificate of authenticity in it. And this is the last page. This has, um, this is pretty. This is just some fabric that I had. And I, it went from front to back to make this pocket. And, um, there's a little button. And this is a little tag or booklet. It says, within your heart, keep one still secret spot where dreams may go. And I sewed that little heart on there with some fabric. And that is the end of that book. So, that pretty much shows you everything that I've got right now. Yeah, that pretty much shows you everything. And I um, just wanted to tell you that I did have to pee on the floor because mom took too long and she gave me all that tea but you know I only do that in an emergency and that was an emergency and it's not my fault you're right bunny that's not your fault I should have taken you to the bathroom sooner okay I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving which is in two days and um I will try to get some stuff made and um, get on here again before too much longer. So have a great holiday and thanks for your support. Bye. Bye, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.